got our cupola base opened up. This is an MWI cupola, and they come prepared for a 412 pitch roof because that's the most common. Um, this is flipped over, by the way. So we're going to go ahead and turn this to a 612 pitch since that is what is on our so the first thing we're going to do is take off these flashings here, and we've got to change this pitch. Now, this is a three-foot cupola, which means that from here to here is 18 inches. At a 412 to a 612, I need to add three inches to this pitch. Hopefully that makes sense. One foot is two inches. Two foot is four inches. Therefore, one and a half foot is three inches. So I'm going to go ahead and measure down three inches, and that will be my new pitch line. So there you go. I got it cut down to a 612, took this piece of flashing here, you can see the old bend, rebent it so that it's now going to be uh, at the right pitch, the right dimension, and the thing to remember is all of this gets covered up by our ridge cap, so we're not worried about any leakage, it's just good uh, flashing practice and adds rigidity to this base. All right, just like that, we got our 612 pitch, now we can flip it over. And look, they even send you this, even though we didn't see it right away. They send you this little diagram that shows you for whatever pitch you want to go, depending on the size of your cupola, what your dimensions should be. I mean, we just use math. We don't we don't use directions. We don't use directions. Oh, like did that? you think of that? Did you know we were doing our MWI cupola today? Take a guess. Now you do wear that hat. You got that at the NFBA, right? It's a pretty cool hat. It's all right. Swipe up if you want to get some merch. We got to put together the sides, which we have the uh, window lights. So we got some nice plexiglass, solid built walls, not your cheap cupola walls. These are solid plywood. So you know they ain't going nowhere, especially with that nice base. Once you have your four walls put together, you've got these little, I guess they're like angle braces here in the corners. Oh, show them that, Greg. There's already a nice little dado here. You can see, I think that's a dado. And they just stick right in there. Oh. I think a neighbor just, I don't know what's going on. Anyway, uh, it stiffens up the cupola, keeps it from getting racked side to side, and then also it's going to um, help stiffen up the roof system, which is what we're going to do next. Now you can see how this is starting to come together. We've got that corner piece installed, and I'll show you that. But you just got to kind of weave them in one at a time, and then your last one, you got to check the bottom because they do, they do miter out nice. If you look under here. So you gotta make sure you go the right way. And there's a nice little channel that keeps it all secure. Slides in. I hit it. Yeah, you're totally missing it, bro. Are you blind? All right, we are ready to go up on the roof. We've got our base switched over to the 612 pitch and we've got our uh, wall and roof assembly done. We'll go ahead and get that situated right where we want it. Uh, get our ridge cap tied in and then we'll set this after and finish it off with our eagle weather vane, which is hard to see there with the trees in the background. Well, that's nice. Just put the uh, cupola base up on the roof just to set it there, and looks like our pitch is perfect. You're running level. Oh, look at that ridge, Greg. Pretty straight. It's pretty darn straight. One thing you definitely want to do is make sure that your base is level so that your cupola top, when it goes on, is also sitting plumb and not crooked. That's the last thing anybody wants to see, guys. Only one thing left to do. Icing on the cake. Oh, I can barely reach it. You know, as we leave here on Friday, I was actually a little disappointed because I forgot my garage door trims, which meant we couldn't finish this wall. And I thought, you know, we didn't do much, but then me and Greg just realized that we started this on Monday, so. I don't know. I guess we did all right. Not bad. Not bad. Bro, you need to work on that farmer tan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's why you just don't just don't wear short sleeves. But look at that cupola. Looks amazing. Great upgrade to a building. Hope you guys have a great weekend. We're going to get out of here. And let's pray for not a full week of rain like they're calling right now so we can get this thing wrapped up.